Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video, you would know that I'm doing a bit of a Christmas series and showing you some fun recipes that you can make around Christmas to bring to your own family and friends celebration. So I've got two recipes to show you guys today. The first one is a massive salad as like a side dish to your main Christmas meal. And the other one is like a Christmas treat that you can give as presents or have on the side. The salad that I'm making today is a sweet potato and pecan salad with a buttermilk chive dressing. This one is super delicious and my cousin actually um, made it two years ago and I loved it so I'm gonna show you quickly what ingredients that you'll need and then we're gonna get straight into it. Okay, so I've got it all set up. We need a sweet potato. I've got some bacon here, some honey, chives ready to go, pecans, lots and lots of um, oak lettuce, some whole grain mustard, got some plain Chobani Creek yogurt, buttermilk, and also coconut oil to cook with. So I'm gonna leave all of these ingredients and the recipe in the description bar below. So if you enjoy what you see, make sure that you go and check it out down there. So that was my sweet potato with pecan salad and a buttermilk and chive dressing. As you would have seen, it was really, really, really simple to make. I would serve it in a big bowl like this. It's perfect as a side because it's really nice and light and fresh. I'm gonna portion it up now actually for my lunches and dinners. And then we're gonna get on to my next very quick recipe. So I'm gonna be making like a Christmas chocolate bark, which is super simple because with a chocolate bark, it's pretty much just melted chocolate. And then you put lots of different like nuts and seeds on top to make it your own. I'm gonna make like a Christmas version. I'm just using my melted dark chocolate and then I'm gonna sprinkle on some pistachios and goji berries and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt on top. So I think that'll be like a really fun, festive version of chocolate bark. So I'm gonna make that really quickly now. I've just lined two little trays with some baking paper. Ideally, I wanna do it on like a big um, baking tray like I was doing the pecans and the sweet potato one, but it might fit in my freezer, so I'm just gonna be using it in these little ones. I've got 200 grams of 70% dark chocolate. Topping it with little goji berries, a few little pistachio, a bit of pink Himalayan salt. Of course, they're just the toppings that I'm gonna use, but you can use whatever you want. So I'm not gonna do the recipe for this one just because it's it's quite simple. Just melt the chocolate in and spread it out and then work quickly to put on your little toppings. Right, I'm just gonna melt my dark chocolate now. Yeah, ideally you wanna do it um, over a saucepan in like a heat proof bowl, but I don't have either of those things in my, in my apartment. So I'm just gonna do it in the microwave. And I always think that it turns out okay in the microwave anyway. to put a little bit of coconut on there too to think that'll look really just pretty. 
sprinkled over the top. Yes, it's like snow. Now they're going into the freezer to set. There's one. Ooh. I hope I haven't made this one too thin. Hopefully it works out, but I'm sure that we will soon see. I'm just going to let that set really quickly and then I'll show you what it turns out like. Okay, so we fast forwarded an hour. I'm about to get the little chocolate box out of the freezer. It's so good. The other one looks just as good. As now let's cut them into pieces. Okay, so I just broke them up as they were breaking naturally, which I think looks really cool as well. A little bit more rustic. Random sizes of my chocolate bark. Really nice and thin and every piece just kind of has a bit of coconut, goji berries and the pistachios on top so it makes it look really nice and festive. Even just displaying it on a plate will look super cute. And people can take their own little piece if they want a big one or a little one. So yeah, I think that that is super cool and that was so, so easy to make. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Next week I'll be showing you another recipe or two and also talking about the kinds of tips and tricks that I use around Christmas time and the holiday season to stay focused and stay on track and stay working towards your goals. I'm sure that I will see you then. Bye.